ladies and gentlemen, Pro Wrestling Report, hashtag, hot tag, hot, hot tag. tag, it's back, David Hero, David, Damian Nelson, sitting here alongside that guy, this and one. the big news on Twitter, Sunday, Monday, when people found out about it, David Hero, the return of Rob Van Dam, RVD, Mr. Monday Night, is coming back to WWE in conjunction with WWE Money in the Bank on pay-per-view on July 14th. From? RVD, Philadelphia, from Pennsylvania. Philadelphia. RVD, last seen in Impact Wrestling, uh, where he would, well... He's been there for the last several years, uh, and has not been in WWE for a while, but this is a big return in the fans' minds. People reacted favorably on Twitter to this. Bit of a surprise, but a good thing. I think at least that WWE announced his return a month in advance. Well, the, it, they had to. It, it created buzz for Money in the Bank early. It's interesting. These same fans that are so happy that he's in WWE are the ones that complained, why would they? Why would TNA Impact Wrestling hire a guy that's old? What do you mean? Well, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, he's four years older now, right? Three years older mm -hmm. than when he first went there, mm -hmm. when he left? But what are you saying? What I'm saying is obviously the upper mid card in the WWE has not progressed the way they have liked, and that's why they keep bringing back these older stars. Such as? Well, that's why they keep bringing back Triple H and Brock Lesnar. And that's why they paid the big money they did to The Rock. And now they're bringing back Rob Van Dam. You're putting RVD in that category? I'm saying older stars. I'm not saying he's in the same. You just lumped him up with Triple H, The Rock, Brock Lesnar. Okay, let's say Christian, Chris Jericho. Hey, believe me, if they could, if Edge could do it, they would have brought Edge back by now. Well, he's a Hall of Famer, you know. He is a Hall of Famer. RVD, will it move the needle? Didn't move the needle uh, in Nashville and Orlando. How can you compare? They, just, they don't have they, they, in Nashville and Orlando. They don't have the the, the promotional machine behind them that WWE I does. I don't think Rob Van Dam is going to improve the ratings. He's one of them. Okay, kind. here's why: because not this past Monday, but the week prior. Do you know what the highest rated segment on Monday Night Raw was? What was it? It was Caitlyn and AJ with Biggie Langston. Mm -hmm. Well, but it's a coin flip. Buzz. I don't discussion. You know what I'm. You know what I'm most looking forward to as far as interaction, is when RVD and Ryback pass each other in the hallway and admire each other's ring gear. Speaking of which, where did that ambulance drive Ryback to? Because we haven't seen him all week. It probably didn't get much further than uh, you know 20 <laughs> feet. You see where thing, the way the thing fell apart. You know what it is? Is Ryback married? Is he done? Is if he gone? It doesn't say, What's next for if Ryback? If it doesn't say a bell on the side, you've obviously been taken for a ride. And ah, that nice ambulance. Well, well done. Yeah. Well done. Terrible. What's next for Ryback? Let's say they do have that chance meeting in the hallway. Is he going to be in one of these one of the bank matches, you think? No, there's no question. He has to be. Really? Oh, yes. Really? Why not? What's he, who's he going to feud he? with? Christian? Maybe he feuds with Miz? RVD. Maybe. Oh, come on. If Ryback's smart, he goes after Del Rio. Why? Oh, he's, World he's, a, yeah, he's a heel. You got to find a baby face. Randy Orton? You know what? Randy Orton could help him. He's a hell of a worker. RVD. Do you like RVD coming in? I mean, you can't stand the guy. All you talk about are his flips into another flips, another flips into an elbow drop. I believe what I've said publicly, and we'll say again publicly on this show, is uh -huh. I respect him as an athlete. I think he is absolutely phenomenal with his physical abilities he in is. a wrestling game. Absolutely. Ring. I just have had difficulty in my time in this business understanding his appeal. He is an amazing in ring performer, and his fan base is second to none. But the last time I checked, you do get fined if you get tested for smoking marijuana. So now, may makes now it maybe he is. His contract is written differently, where it's only half the fine, or maybe he just paid a huge number up front <laughs> to be done for the year. But for a company that is so against drug use, how do they bring in a talent that is so pro-marijuana? And it's not so much, because I'm sure there are many people in the company who are pro-marijuana, but he talks about it publicly, publicly regularly. On, he tweets about I'll be curious to see if he tweets about it now. 
Is it a one-time deal or a long-term deal it's, for it's, uh, You know what? I, it has to be limited dates. It might only be six months, a year tops. I can't imagine it going much longer than that. I mean, but let's face it. RVD did not want his last match to be in the X Division title match he had in TNA Impact Wrestling. It was with, who was it? The kid with the hairspray gimmick? Uh, that would be, right? uh, that would be uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Zima Ion. Zima Ion. A guy named after a beer that's no longer in business. RVD is a tremendous addition to Money in the Bank. That particular matchup itself, uh, as you got to assume he's going to be in that matchup. That is going to be hugely over but with let's the Philadelphia say, crowd. Hey, and Rob Van Dam is going to cash in. Now his value has just increased cash in. again. Yes. Remember, didn't he cash in Money in the Bank to win the title in 2005? Yes, in the he CW did. One night yes. Stand? yes, he did. Hmm. Just imagine if you have Ziggler, RVD, Christian... I almost said The Miz. That would have been funny. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. I mean, it, there's a, a handful of solid in-ring performers that can truly entertain. And How far out is Evan Bourne? I know he came back and wrestled in oh, NXT. Oh, there's no way he's doing a Money in the Bank match. He's been back in the ring already. Yeah, but he's not taking those crazy bumps right now. He would. I wouldn't. Kofi should be back by then. Should be interesting. And uh, coming up tomorrow night on Primetime, we'll talk about how interesting WWE and wrestling has R -V -D. gotten. V D. Over the last few hashtag. Uh, over the last few days. Also, David Hero. Yes. Last night. Yes. We were live at Impact Wrestling. Yes, uh, we were. In Peoria, Peoria, Illinois. And uh, that's a hell of a footage. drive, wasn't it? That's a hell of a drive. It was almost like a little bit of paradise. Um, we will be uh, what part? Bringing you a update from the arena, from Impact Wrestling, uh, tomorrow night on Primetime, talking TNA. You know what I thought was kind of funny? Is when you and uh, Joseph Park were having a little discussion. We had a good meeting, and uh, you'll hear more about that in the future. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get a cease and desist. That is uh, this week's edition of Hashtag Hot Tag, ladies and gentlemen, for that one. This, one. this is Damian Nelson saying thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow night on Primetime.